welcome to this session this is the second session of block second paper 8 indian panorama a comparative study of untouchable and kantapur in the first session i talked about situations and characterizations which represent the indian background of the 40s of 20th century india and i have also described how mulkraj anand has put forth his gandhian philosophy and nationalistic thought and the issue of equality in his novel the untouchable <coughs> sorry in this session we will discuss kanthapura one of the, uh, the first novel of raja rao which reflects the indian ness indian ness say and problems of indians felt under the regime of the britisher so this novel reflects the political agitation of nationalist who followed gandhi to fight against the british uh, british ruler before understanding the text kanthapura we must know about the novelist as you know raja rao was also a freedom fighter he loved gandhi he followed the philosophy of gandhi ji so he was gandhian in nature in his novels he represented the spirits of gandhian philosophy he represents the social agitations the political agitations and evils existing in the society and by relating those evils as the evils of the nation he always incorporates what indianness in his uh, writing is that he always incorporates strains of hindu mythology and buddhism in his novel kanthapura exemplifies this feature kanthapura does not project the indian spirit isolatively but as a living experience moving in time and space the three levels of action in the novel political social and religious are related to unified concept of india both as a tradition and as a living culture this uh, idea uh, was added by k r rao in his book the fiction of raja rao that there is a unification of both the tradition and the living culture of india in the novel of raja rao he doesn't live nor tries to exist without the impression of indian tradition now we will know further 
what are be the what are the basic uh, what are the uh, works by him and how and when they were published his first novel as i told you kanthapura it is about a village in south india affected by the spirit of gandhi it was published in the united states in 1938 the serpent and the rope of rope was published in 1960 other other works include a collection of stories written earlier the cow of the barricades published in 1947 the cat and shakespeare was published in 1965 comrade kirillo 1960 76 the chase master and his moves 1988 in the year since rao had been working on a sequel to this last novel which has indian vedantic philosophy at its core let us talk about now uh, the kanthapura the, the novel kanthapura which is set against the backdrop of a southern indian village in 1930s where the villagers are content and dependent in their own homogeneous culture and tradition the novel is a long oral trail, tale narrated by achakka an old brahmin grandmother of the village this novel exposes the panorama of indian society under leadership of gandhi i would not be repeatedly saying this that he was an indian english novelist not be, not because he wrote novels in english or uh, uh, kanthapura was written by an indian when i say that uh, it is an indian english novel i mean to say that this novel corresponds to the tradition and the cultures existing culture of today one may still find some affinity between the situation given in the novel kanthapura and the existing society of 21st century in this why i am saying that it is a panorama of indian society of the time and of today to this idea can be explained through some certain point in kanthapura gandhi ji has been idolized as hindu god represented by hari katha speaker and uh, murti and his associate murti as a representative of gandhian philosophy lead satyagraha gandhian ideas of non violence idea of swadeshi spinning as a purifying as praying national thundering slogans like bande mataram mahatma gandhi ki jai inqilab zindabad are all sporadically uh, dispersed here and there in the novel there are some episodes filled with teaching of social equity there are some episode uh, in which the novelist wants to show that emotion is more important than that of the caste sympathy is more important than that of the caste system murti is an example of it he used to visit to houses of peria after a lot protest or personal anguish against murti as uh, he had been victimized of it he would visit to the houses of peria would talk would love to talk and sit and share this these episodes uh, the episodes in which murti uh, has been shown doing such things 
or the representation of the philosophy of equality uh, explained or spoken or written or uh, advocated by Gandhiji. The Harikatha element is there, Jairam Char mixes Hindu mythological stories with Gandhian philosophy of Ahinsa, self-purification, Hindu-Muslim unity and Khaddar, the importance of Khaddar or Sabdesi. There one may also find myth and symbolism. In the uh, Harikatha of Jairam Char, one may find out uh, many implications of Gandhian thought. So, indirectly Jairam Char is explaining the idea of Ahinsa in relation to the uh, divine theories of peace. So, <coughs> the Harikatha can also be observed as the story of the political philosophy of that time. Kantapura has also been explained or observed by many critics as allegory, as mythological allegory, where Kantapura or the land has been represented as Sita and uh, uh, Murti as uh, Ram and as such. There are many illustrations. Illustrations which witness how this novel is having Gandhian strains or is having Indianness in itself. As you know that the narrator of this novel is Achakka. who goes on to show how the village is presided over by the overpowering legions of God the King Chamma. See, uh, before, uh, before starting anything, any good thing, any, any thing, uh, our culture forces us to pray God. Or in our culture there is a tradition to keep or to think about Kul Devi. So, here Ken Chamma is a kind of goddess, the goddess of village and the belief of people is she nourishes her, she protects her and she, uh, it is she of the presence of whom they are living under the sun. So, such kind of belief can only be found in the country like ours, means in India that we believe in the nature and we believe in the belief of other, we respect belief. So, Ken Chamma, the goddess is also the symbol of our Indianness. It, it, it expresses or it uh, indirectly expresses the Indian sensibility. And it, it, it represents the typical Indianness of uh, uh, Indian. So, I would rather uh, quote, Kain Chamma is our goddess, great and bounteous is she. She killed a demon ages, ages ago, a demon that had come to demand our son as food. So, it was a belief of common people living in uh, 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 Kantapura, they would believe uh, that uh, this goddess uh, nourished and uh, protected their lives. It also illustrates the Indianness or the bent of uh, mind of the novelist to show the Indian culture. The protagonist, second illustration I would like to give, the protagonist Murti is introduced by the narrator Achakka in familiar terms. Like I quote, Corner house Narasimha's son 
murti our murti as we always called him to describe with consummate skill a character as paradoxical as murti and a theme as complex with its intricate mingling of mythic and rational great skill in narrative strategy this is one of the singularities one of the uh, specific uh, characteristics of uh, raja rao's uh, narrative strategy or the skill, skill of narration murti offers a vision of reconstruction and of integration of the possibilities and impossibilities of the philosophic whole where even intense in what questions betrayed no jarring collusion and confrontation the culmination of the conversion of murti is saint shankaracharya's chant closing his eyes tighter he slips back into the folded ears of the soul and sends out rays of love to the east rays of love to the west and when he opens them to look around a great blue radiance seems to fill the whole earth and as he rises up and falls prostrate before the god chanting sankara's shivom shivom i am shiv i am shiv shiv am i see this is a unique characterization of indian English. this type of explanation of the character's mood through language is called by raja rao sanskritized english why not to sanskritize this is what his question he says he is not speaking or writing literature in english english borrowed by borrowed from the westerners no it is his english as he claimed because he is using in sanskritized way so not only the character not only the situations in which characters he has uh, described or he has given to but also language he used to explain those situations and uh, uh, put to the uh, mouth of characters uh, is in the next illustration can be taken from the theme of shakti worship shakti worship is a basically indian theme it is present throughout the novel in this gandhi and freedom struggle the ladies of kantapura play a key role key role the author has painted them as energetic uh, forms of shakti a woman has also been considered here in this novel as shakti shakti puja or this also refers to the indian uh, philosophy i have already talked how uh, raja rao used sanskritic uh, english uh, to depict the life of indian uh, sensibility uh, indian people and their sensibility braj kachru one of the uh, one of the one of the greatest indian linguist says about originality of raja rao's language at the most suggestive and loaded metaphor indeed to critics of indian english was caliban's tongue it symbolized how caliban had acquired a bias and used it as a linguistic weapon but not for rao there is no caliban here nor is rao using english from the periphery he brings english and its function to the center of his creativity to the center of indian in his hands the cross over of the language is on raut so this idea of kachru illustrates or witnesses the power of uh, raja ra how he handles language to make it indian and how he handles situations and character to make them indian and the skantapura is true and true indian novel it is having strain of gandhianism it is having strains of hindu mythology 
it has strains of religious permanent it has strains of indian sanskritized english thinking 